He said it gently. <laughs> I don't say it so gently. But John Holt is one of our cleaning friends here at QVC and has been working with us for many years, and we are so thrilled for his expertise to be part of our family. Why, thank you. Thank you. And so <laughs> here he is presenting the Don Aslett uh, selection for us, and this is one that we are calling the Don Aslett two-piece multi-purpose rubber broom and hand brush. This is a new iteration for us. Yeah, new in color. The past, it's very popular. Yeah, it's made out of 100% rubber, okay? Very soft, very flexible. So even if you have hardwood in your kitchen, this is much softer than a straw broom, okay? And we have the wide fingers on the back, which I'll show you what those for in a, in a second. On the back of this, there's a built-in squeegee. I keep one of these in my car all winter, even though we're over the winter now. That's the best thing to get snow <laughs> off of your vehicle, okay? Oh, point. And in my other hand, I have a little pet brush. So everybody that bought the this big special today, this, you know, put this in your little uh, lock and lock bag and take it with you. This is the best little pet brush. Now, let's get cleaning here because All right. if you have a kitchen, that's the messiest room in your house. And why a rubber broom? Okay, well, these have been around for almost 40 years, mostly in Europe and Australia. Okay. You can wash them when they get dirty, which is essential in your kitchen. It's really hard to wear down two inches of rubber. Think about it. Your car tires have a half an inch of rubber and they last 50,000 miles. Yeah. You're going to get 200,000 miles out of this. Okay. That's a lot of sweeping. <laughs> now this handle is steel and it's telescopic. So you can adjust it to whatever height you are, lock it up. Now I'm going to start on a hardwood floor. Now, I've got some jimmies down here. Some people call them sprinkles, okay? <laughs> I've got some sugar mixed in, and I've got some pet hair up here as well. Now, I'm going to sweep once on this side, and then I'm going to sweep once on this side. Uh, and one-handed. I'm also. only doing this with one hand, okay? Now, what happens okay. here, if you look at the dirt on the floor, it's all in a straight line. What happens is the rubber tips, there's 500 on, my, on here. I counted this morning just to make sure. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, they, all the rubber comes together. The dirt can't get through that. Now, if you look at the back, we added these wide fingers. When we're not here, we supply bakeries and restaurants with this broom. They sweep up flour, salt, sugar, just like I did here. This gets the really, really fine stuff. Got okay. It. Now, if you want to sweep carpet with this, you don't normally think of using a broom on a rug. Okay. okay. But over here, I've got breadcrumbs, I've got sugar, and I've got pet hair all over this carpet. Now, this is an oriental type rug, and I'm just going to grind my feet all into this carpet here. Now, when you sweep a rug, the only thing you have to remember is don't sweep the rug. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, you want to brush the carpet. Use a light, short brushing stroke. If you try to sweep the carpet, here's what's going to happen. You'll get some of it, but the broom is going to go over and miss all that fine stuff. Got it. So if I go back and just use a light, short brushing stroke, I'm barely even pressing on the broom. I'm letting the broom do the work. So indoor, outdoor carpet, shag, Great berber. Tip. Now, let me show you the little pet brush that I have here. I'm going to take some of this hair. I'm going to rub it all over my jeans here. This isn't my favorite thing to do. I now, say, okay. I wish you could see his face when he's doing it. If you've got Rover, the golden reliever that leaves himself all over you, okay? Same exact rubber tips on the brush that are on the broom. Now, I'm going to use this with a light, short stroke. What, the, what this does is it breaks the static bond that the hair has with your clothes. Perfectly clean, wow. no hair in the brush, no hair on me, it's all on the floor. So, so cool. Now, see how this comes to a point? Yes. If you have a carpeted staircase, you know what it's like <sighs> to take the extension hose on the vacuum and then you use your fingers. Well, use this in the staircases. Use this on your car seats. But here's the best part. Okay. It's really soft. You can use this right on your pet. It doesn't, it doesn't rip the oh, hair out is. like a wire brush. Isn't yeah, that great? That is nice. Awesome. Now. <laughs> <laughs> we had a moment. Um, you know what? This is on a great feature price of $17.24. Yeah. Remember, you're getting both tools when you pick it up today on In the Kitchen with Mary. But this is for so many surfaces right. that it pays for itself in a couple of uses. Well, it, it does. If you have some friends over and you have a glass of wine and you drop the glass of wine, the first thing you do is you get another glass of wine. <laughs> Okay. Step one. <laughs> right. Step two. The second thing you do is you got broken glass on your kitchen floor or wherever it may be. Sure. Now, I'm going to go over this floor really quickly here. The 500 rubber fingers, I'll sweep this side one time, and then I'm going to sweep this side one time. Now, watch what I do next. I'm going to take my hand right on the tile, and I'm going to rub my finger right in the grout line. There's not a sliver of glass left there. If you've ever swept this with a, a straw broom and you walk on it with your bare feet, uh-oh. I know. Well, with a rubber broom, you're going to get every single crumb that is there. 
Now, if you want to see what this is compared to, like a nylon or a straw broom, I've got those here. Okay. Now, which one do you want to sweep with, Mary? Um, I guess that one, the one that's in front. The straw the broom? Straw, okay. Because yeah, that's the, it's probably what we find easiest. Right. Now, here, sweep down the center of this carpet here. This is going to be These fancy. have really long bristles, and when you press down on this, watch what happens to the bristles. They, <laughs> they bend over. What am I doing? You're using the edge of the broom, the, the side of the broom, not the edge of it. This is wasted energy. Okay. Okay. Now, I hate now it. if you notice our broom, <laughs> the head on this is angled 45 degrees, so all the rubber tips are pointing straight down to the carpet. When I go over the rug just the same place you went over we're grabbing the pet hair the sand the cat litter the i'll even food go behind crumb. you with the other yeah, type well of try broom. it i mean <laughs> that's that's one of your brooms from the kitchen look how greasy that is you can't this wash a nylon broom necessary. now if you if you take this to your garage and stick it in the grease or the grime watch this you can unscrew this from the handle and you can actually wash this in your dishwasher if you want i just rinse it in my sink and then it's ready to go this, I, it's the best broom in the world. This is why it has been so popular on QVC, QVC2, QVC for many, many oh. years. This is the latest iteration. We started with 2,000, and we have 800 remaining, <laughs> John. That's how popular it is. Use the pet brush on your furniture as well. I forgot to show you this before, but look at that. The squeegee side is also for wet cleaning, just so you know, and the long bristles are great for deep cleaning. $17.24. I've seen you and Dan Hughes present this a couple of times. <laughs> 24 years I've been, been here with this. so <laughs> jealous. Um, and now I finally had my turn. Um, will you come back? Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Don't count the bristles again. You worry me when you do that. Uh, it took me two um, times to get to 500. You know what?